Franco-British artist Seb Toussaint, who roams around the world where people are marginalized, poses as brushes in Mauritania. In the working-class district of Zata, in the capital Nouakchott, he draws colorful murals on the walls of huts, allowing him to put a spotlight on a neighborhood that's never in the spotlight. For the past 10 years, the artist in shorts and sneakers has been coming to the homes of the world's disenfranchised. Sometimes I was surprised in some countries that a project in the neighborhood attracted artists who came to the neighborhood to, for example, shoot a music video or to do a fashion show. And so put a spotlight on the neighborhoods that we never talk about, for example, in a refugee camp in Palestine or the municipality in Kathmandu that promised to inject money to repair the roofs because we put a spotlight on the neighborhoods that was somewhat forgotten. Within two or three days, the attentive reader would descend letters composing future in Arabic, on a mural that would not be out of place in the capitals of street art. Well, all I can bring is color to an environment where there are a few colors. So it's always that. And also, I think it's rewarding encounters, both for me to learn about local cultures, but also for people to meet a stranger as well. The painting in this district will be the pride of the shark's owner for 10 years if it lasts that long, and the countless kids who will have grown up in the meantime will remember the three strangers who came to put colors on the walls of their neighborhood. He came to us to shed light on our situation, especially young people and their future. We had some suspicions about their presence, but very early on we understood that we were motivated by good intentions. They do good work that adds color to the neighborhood and they quickly integrate into the neighborhood. Sepp's project called Share the Word was inspired in part by his grandmother's ordeal under the German occupation during the Second World War in Normandy, not Western France. Uh -huh.